Hi guys and welcome to Baby Goose's Kitchen. Merry Christmas and have a great New Year's so compliments of the season. I'm Samantha and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to make tuna potato cakes or tuna potato patties. So let me take you over to the ingredients and stay tuned and enjoy. So over here I have 3 4 cups of mashed potatoes. I used about 3 small to medium sized red potatoes but you can use russet potatoes or any, any type of potato. So to this I add 2 cans of tuna, 5 ounces each, in water. And now we're going to add our chopped celery and red peppers. You can actually add any vegetables of your choice. I just love peppers and I like celery a lot. That's about half a red pepper and um, one stalk of celery. add some salt black pepper garlic powder old bay seasoning This is the main seasoning. It has a variety of spices to it. And we're going to use some vinegar. And now we're going to mix this all together. So over here I have some breadcrumbs on a plate and now it's time to shape them into patty sizes or cutlet sizes. Basically kind of like a medium ball. So here I have the mix. I'm just going to slowly and gently just press it down. You don't need egg for this recipe. And you're just going to kind of flatten it on the breadcrumbs and turn it. You can use uh, any breadcrumbs for this recipe. I just uh, had plain panko breadcrumbs. But you can use even seasoned breadcrumbs for this. And that's about it. I'm going to place that on a clean plate. So over here I have a pan with some oil heating on medium high and to this we are going to add our tuna patties or tuna cakes. And we're going to let this cook for about 3 to 4 minutes on each side. So after 4 minutes I flipped it to the other side and we're going to let this cook for another 4 minutes. 
So after four minutes, I've gone and plated it with some spinach and peppers. You can even top it up with some fresh lime or lemon juice. This is so good. It's healthy. If you like tuna and potato, it's really, really nice to make it. So enjoy. So I hope you had fun with me on today's episode and I sure hope you go and make it. It's simple, easy and most of all delicious and healthy. So I'll see you soon on another episode of Baby Goose's Kitchen. Keep cooking, keep sharing. I have a Facebook page. You can uh, contact me on that. If you have any comments or any suggestions, you can let me know. Till then, take care and bye-bye.